Vimes went on. Some of them are pretty cunning, even if I say it myself. I certainly never expected the tiles on the shed to shift like that, sir. They're on greased rails, said Vimes. Well done, sir. And quite a few of the traps <coughs> drop you into something deadly, said Vimes. Lucky for me that I fell into this one, eh, sir? Oh, that one's deadly too, said Vimes. Eventually deadly, he sighed. He really wanted to discourage this sort of thing, but it put him off the register. It wasn't that he liked being shot at by hooded figures and the temporary employ of his many and varied enemies, but he always looked at it as some kind of vote of confidence. It showed that he was annoying the rich and arrogant people who ought to be annoyed. Besides, the Assassin's Guild was easy to outwit. They had strict rules, which they followed quite honourably, and this was fine by Vimes, who in certain practical areas had no rules whatsoever. Off the register, eh? The only other person not on it any more, it was rumoured, was Lord Veterinari, the patrician. The assassins understood the political game in the city better than anyone, and if they took you off the register, it was because they felt your departure would not only spoil the game, but also smash the board. I'd be jolly grateful if you could pull me out, sir, said Jocasta. What? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, uh, got clean clothes on, said Vimes. But when I get back to the house, I'll turn the button and come down inside. Thank you very much, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Vimes strolled back to the house. Nothing. And then he carried the spring lilac carefully back up to the 